all right guys welcome back to the channel socially bearded um, obviously it's sunday everybody knows what that means another head shave video or shave content of some kind uh, today we are going to be looking at the headblade moto or the hb4 this one just happens to be the military version it's called the military moto so stay tuned check out the intro and we'll get right into a head shave all right guys so the headblade moto <laughs> this little apparatus here so the head on it actually swivels two ways four blades at the little ball i think this is what makes it the moto there's another version not really sure what that is i've never had that one but i've had several of these so you hold it like this right you want to make sure that this impacts the head at all times so you know if you're shaving you don't want to pick it up like that that is not right you want to make sure that the blade and the ball is on the head at all times you're going to wear it like a ring and then you're just going to go you know back and forth like that uh, you can pick this up on amazon for 15.99 uh, it's called the Military Moto, but they have several different styles. And really, I think the only difference is the color. Uh, the other one I had, I don't remember the head pivoting back and forth like that, just up and down. But it, it might have. I'm really, I can't remember uh, the other one. It was the yellow one that I had. So, that being said, let's jump into the head shave and we will see what we got here. So, full disclosure, the first one I had, maybe I wasn't using it right. I was just getting into head shaving. Um, I, d I didn't like the first one, but I have become much, much more experienced. I'm, I'm not an expert, but I am closer to being an expert now than the last time I used one of these. <sighs> Real quick, this does have a lube strip. You guys know I'm not a fan of the lube strip. Um, sometimes they can be okay. Uh, if you're shaving with like shave gel, like fusion shave gel or edge shave gel, they probably come in super handy, but I shave with good soap, uh, good creams, stuff like that. So I am not a big fan of them. Also, this little comfort strip right down here, right? I, <laughs> I made a statement here a while back about what I thought they were for, and then I got to thinking about it, and I was like, you know what, that was stupid. I don't even know why I said that. That is, whatever I said is not what they're for. I almost feel like this right here, if you look at it, it is a little bit lower than the blades. To me, it would squeegee, because it's rubber, it would squeegee all the shave cream and shave soap off. Now, with it being a little bit lower than the blades, actually when you got it turned this way, it's a little bit higher. So I wonder if it evens it out and puts just a, like a paper thin layer, you know, and it squeegees everything else off. And that way you don't have too much buildup. It could be a good idea. I really don't know. But I think that might be what it's for. I can't think of any other reason why it would be there. I called it a comfort strip. I'm really not even sure what it's called. Uh, seems like I've heard it called that before. But anyway, with all that being said, let's uh, let's jump into the shave. And, and maybe it'll work out a little better this time. All right, so we got the ball down. Turn sideways here. Basically just letting it rest. I never recommend that anybody push down hard on their razor even though some of them have some some of the instructions on different razors i've used have said you know put a moderate amount of pressure on there i still don't agree with that so we're just going to try to let the razor do the work here
All right, guys, so <clears throat> that will do it for the head shave portion. And so surprisingly, again, I did not, I did not expect to, I didn't expect to like this. Um, now, obviously it's not gonna be my favorite. It's not gonna be my preferred razor, but it's not bad. Uh, it done its job. I mean, it, it shaved very close. I don't have any cuts, no nicks. I don't feel like I've got a lot of irritation. We can always put that to the test though. So we'll use the same aftershave that we always use. Let's throw a little bit on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're fine. No irritation, so uh, hey, that's, you know, that's kind of what we look for. We look for, a, you know, no cuts, no irritation, you know, little creepers, anything like that. <clears throat> so I think, uh, I think that's good. It was a comfortable shave. Uh, it took a little longer than some people would like. Uh, me, it don't matter. Even if it would have took me 30 minutes, I'd be fine. Uh, I actually enjoy shaving my head, so, you know, really, for me, the longer the better. But I'm reviewing this for you guys, you know, and most of you, you don't want to take forever uh, shaving your head. So uh, it did take a little bit longer, but I would assume the more you use it, you know, the better you're going to get with it, the quicker you're going to get with it. Uh, a little bit of problems like around the ears i can feel a little bit of a little bit of scruff still left but you know look at the shape of it it's got this big old head on it right here that's to allow for that that holds the cartridge in there you know you got this you got this handle you know so it's not real super not real super easy to get around the ears but you know you can grab a you can grab a cheap cartridge razor or a disposable and, and clean up around the ears you know or a straight you know something that gets a little bit in nooks and crannies a little better so do i recommend this uh, sure sure yeah no reason not to you know like i said it, it provided the uh, proper shave you know it was it was a it was a nice comfortable shave i've had razors that uh you know left a little bit of stubble no matter how hard you push down how, how many times you buffed over it you know that that's just not the case with this uh, the little roller ball, I mean, it kind of feels funny on the head, but again, that's part of the design. So, you know, if that's, if you think it might be something you'd like, I mean, for $15.99, you know, check it out. You can get refills for it. You don't have to buy a new handle every time, uh, like I did. Um, I will link the razor itself. It does come with one four blade head, uh, but I will also link some refills down below. And again, it's $15.99, you pick it up on Amazon. I'm sure there's other places you can get it as well, but I would recommend getting it from Amazon, obviously, you know, especially if you have Prime. So with that being said, guys, uh, you know, that's really going to do it for the video. Uh, I, I definitely recommend this if, uh, you know, if a, a quick, easy shave is something that, you know, is something that you want, you know, you might look elsewhere or if you don't mind getting used to something, you know, pick it up, start practicing with it and in no time, you know, you'll be you'll be shaving just like you would with anything else so and i appreciate everybody for joining we will catch you guys on the next one hey everyone thank you for watching if you're new here and you want to support the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember to follow me across all social medias